I recently had the chance to guest on an amazing podcast, something that's dear to my heart to give back through our mental health stories. The Anxiety Warriors are here. As entrepreneurs, it is important for us to keep growing, and I do this by trying to guest on other shows, meet like-minded individuals. Who knows where the future will bring us together on all these collaborations. Through COVID, these Zoom meetings have brought me around the world, and this time I'm going back home to New York. Welcome back to That Entrepreneur Show and a Mental Health Break bonus episode. I am Vincent A. Lancey, and I am looking forward to episode number three of Podcast to Podcast. Normally, this show will only air on That Entrepreneur Show, but because of the value these girls will bring us today, I have to air it on a Mental Health Break too. Be sure to check out the other shows that have recorded so far with Debbie and Barb bringing on the business of life and Michael and Ricky talking about brutal facts. This segment is sponsored by Bedrock Business Builders, a small business startup specialist. Start, build, manage. And today we bring on the Anxiety Warriors. I am excited to interview them this time as I had a great time on their show. And I will have that episode link in the show description. So just scroll down. And I'm going to share all about their show before I bring them on. We explore what it means to be human together. We are teachers, friends, yogis, storytellers, and most of all, anxiety warriors. We've learned that our anxious feelings make us stronger. We believe in community. We believe in transparency and vulnerability, and this can help everyone. The Anxiety Warriors podcast is hosted by Abigail Wilbur and Margot Harris. They are yoga and mindfulness teachers, friends, and storytellers on a mission to raise awareness and understanding about anxiety and mental health. Each week, the Warriors, along with their guests, as I mentioned, I was lucky enough to join, explore a variety of topics and share their honest experiences. They offer accessible, active practices and strategies that help them to navigate the human experience with more kindness and curiosity. Margot Harris and Abigail Wilbur, thank you so much for joining the show. Thanks for having us. Yeah, so excited. Thank you. Of course. Please introduce yourselves to our audience, and then we will talk all things Anxiety Warriors. All right. Hey, everyone. My name is Margot Harris. I am a children's yoga and mindfulness educator. I host workshops. I am a mentor for kids yoga teachers, and I am a children's book author. I'm also a New York girl through and through. I live here with my husband, Adam, and our sweet little dog, Hurley. Hey, everyone. I'm Abigail Wilbur. I was a New York girl through and through, but I recently moved to Colorado. Um, I am a mindfulness coach. Uh, I coach people on being more clever than their habits so they can start creating healthy habits in their life. Uh, I also teach kids life skills. They're not taught in school. And I have a few published courses on Insight Timer. And I now live in Colorado with my husband and my two cute little dogs. Well, be sure to stick around to the end of the episode so you can find out how to see this great content they've been putting up. Both of them are on fire with what they're doing, really grinding and crushing it. But let's start out here. Margo, tell us more about this podcast. Yeah, so Abby and I, uh, as kids, as products of the 80s and 90s, we grew up having anxiety and we had no idea what anxiety was at the time. And so fast forward many, many years later, when Abigail and I met, we became fast friends and we connected mostly in the fact that we had shared anxiety. <laughs> I know um, when we first started thinking about podcasting, we were like, what should we even talk about? What is it that we want to share with the world? um, What kind of impact are we looking to have in in this space? And we were just like, hey, we have anxiety. We talk about that a lot just as friends. What if we talked about anxiety every week and had guests on to talk about their anxiety? What might that be like? I love it. (laughs) You want to add to that, Abigail? Yeah. I mean, Margo said it beautifully. Um, I I would just add, I feel like I feel like, you know, Margo and I just realized that we loved listening to each other. We loved hearing each other's stories, right? And and for both of us, we really started to, as our friendship grew, we started to be more vulnerable with each other. And what we realized is that we had a lot of shared experiences. And 
that connection really just sparked like a, a deeper connection in our friendship. And, and I think that really helped us in being willing and, and open to trying something new together and collaborating on this podcast. So I love you just said there, Abigail, trying something new. Now is podcasting something you always wanted to do? Maybe not this topic was you or explain how this all really went behind the scenes. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, in, in my mind, like I never thought I'd ever be podcasting. No. Right. I, I had been asked to be on a couple of people's podcasts and I was like, cool, like this, I like talking and I like listening to people. Um, but Margo and I did a few Instagram lives and they were supposed to be 10 minutes and they'd go like an hour. <laughs> We'd had no self-control. Yeah. And so we realized like, wait a second, maybe we have something here, but, but I think when we, I think I jokingly said it to Margo and we both laughed it off. Like, no, we're not going to podcast. And then it just grew. Yeah. And then I feel like I reached back out to Abby one day and it was obviously the pandemic that really kicked off the Mm -hmm. idea because we both had a lot of space and time. All of a sudden work had changed so drastically and we were all sort of starving for connection. And I know that my mental health issues kind of skyrocketed and yeah. certainly through the beginning of the pandemic. And we were like, how can we support each other and maybe even expand that support, you know, and bring more people into it, um, through our storytelling, as Abby said before. And so she was just like, she planted that seed. And then I feel like a month went by and I was like, you know what, maybe we shouldn't be laughing that off. Maybe that <laughs> is something we should think about doing. And, you know, the name kind of popped in my head and I shared it with Abby and she loved it. And we were like, okay, let's, let's get this thing going. Let's see what's up here. The way of life just stopped and everybody was just home. I agree with you. Zoom was a great way to at least mimic that in-person interaction. And also me too, with the podcasting really just growing quickly, everybody was home. They had time all of a sudden people were dying for something to do. I was able to record just it was a lesson learned where I don't like recording too far advanced anymore. I think I shared with you before. I was just months and months of inventory. I was able to focus on other things, but podcasting can get exciting. It's something I love to do. It is one of my favorite things to really help inspire others through my experiences. We have entrepreneurship, we have mental health. And of course, on YouTube, I do writing with authors to help people get over that writer's block. I believe you were a guest on that, correct? Yes, I was. Yeah. I was so grateful. To I'll be have one. to make sure to put that in the episode description <laughs> as well. But speaking of favorite things to do, what are your favorite parts of podcasting, Abigail? Um, so much. <laughs> so I, I always love hearing people's stories. Like I, I remember like, this is such a random story, but I remember going to like summer camp in like middle school age. And, and the first thing I wanted to do is just hear everyone's stories with all the new campers there. Right. And like that moment stuck with me as like, Oh, you love hearing people's stories. And so connecting with Margot, hearing her story, like also feeling like we have so much shared is something I love. It's like, Oh my gosh, wait, we share this thing too. Like what? Um, and then just like the really like the the connection with um, all of our guests be there's no way I would have met so many amazing people if we weren't doing podcasting. And we have met just incredible people all over the United States. Um, I know someone in England wants to talk to us, too. Um, nice. But it's just so incredible to connect with people you would never connect with and and their bravery and willingness to share very vulnerable stories. It's like. It's like, I feel like this podcast, one is like a service for others. It normalizes mental health. It normalizes anxiety. Um, And it's just really rewarding to be able to connect with people at like a real human level rather than pretending we all have our shit together. It's really courageous. I agree with you on everyone's part just to come on these shows, share their stories. I always say you never know what's going to resonate with you most. It could be where someone's from, what they went through, how they got through it their family life, something we can always help each other get through it. Let's shift over to Margo. What can you add for us? You know, um, so much of what Abby said came up for me too. When I was thinking about this question, uh, you know, Dr. Brene Brown says that we aren't owed people's stories and we're not, we don't owe anybody our story. And so having the opportunity to hear so many brave and vulnerable people, as Abby said, um, be willing to use our platform, our space to, be vulnerable, to be brave and share what's going on with them and and share their truth is just such a deep and profound honor for us. And um, 
I just feel really humbled and grateful every time people like you, Vincent, are willing to be with us on the show and, and be real. So that way people out there, hopefully listening, our fellow warriors are going to be able to think, yeah, me too. Or yeah, that's, mm-hmm. that's, that's also something I went through, or maybe I didn't experience that in that way, but I have this other thing that I went through that is similar or made me feel a similar way. And just being able to be seen and heard and validated, which I think is what all human beings really want at our core. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of times people may not have the support systems they need. So being able to hear somebody that walked through a similar light might just give them the push in the right direction. They need to realize it is okay. Time may heal. It may not be easy, but if you can learn from someone else's journey, why not give it a try? So we talked about favorite parts of podcasting. Now let's talk to challenging parts of podcasting. Margo, start us off here. Oh man, as Abby said in the first, in the other question, so much, so yeah. much is challenging. Um, and honestly, a lot of stuff that we just didn't even think about, maybe thankfully before we actually started trying this out, it yeah. was like, we just dove in. We're like, let's do this without too much thought about like how much work it is truly so much, you know, work, there's yeah. the everything on the back end. Like, and I listened to so many podcasts and I never thought once that hard about how much work those people do until we started recording and doing this thing. Um, it's been rewarding and, and so, um, wonderful, but yeah, it's definitely a lot more back end work than I ever, ever could have imagined. Just like talking to guests ahead of time, tons of emails, dealing with, um, promoting marketing, social media, you know, just literally everything that, that goes into this show that we put our heart and soul and and time and energy into is a challenge, but it's certainly been worth it so far. It really is so much. I also went into it blind. I didn't listen to any shows beforehand. I wanted it to be unique in certain ways where It's going to be consistent. I'm going to keep delivering and then grow eventually. I've recently, or not recently, a few months ago, I listened to another show and I heard some background music over the audio at certain points. I was like, oh, that's cool. Maybe I can try to, you know, make the show fresh. Like we're talking about with these bonus series, finding new ways to grow. There is a lot behind the scenes. And I think it's like entrepreneurship, which I think you could both do a test to just the behind the scenes from tax season to regulations. There's just so many things where that's why most entrepreneurs, they say, 90% 90% whatever the number is don't even go to year two there is so much that you don't think about and here it's a little different where you network to find the guests prep the guests record the guests edit the guests publish the guests promote the guests it just goes on and on but it is rewarding as you both have said everyone out there definitely give it a try if you think you can help make a difference but what do you want to leave us off with today girls either of you can take this question first yeah I mean I, I would just start off with like your mental health matters, like period. And, and your mental health is just as important as your physical health. It's just as important as your emotional health. Like all of this is really important. And, um, just finding ways to, to talk to people about it, because I think part of what makes, you know, a variety of mental health conditions so challenging is we feel alone in it. We feel like no one will get us or understand. And so, you know, it doesn't mean tell everyone your life story, but find those people you trust and start and start talking about your mental health and asking other people about their mental health. Um, Because we don't know what grows from that. And I know just personally for me, like, talking about it with Margot, connecting with the community has just normalized so many things that I thought were wrong with me. And so that's like, I feel like the, the, the first thing is the, the willingness to talk about it, the willingness to be vulnerable and the willingness to like find other people and have a community. It's when we were younger, it may not have been intentional of the role models, parents, teachers in our lives, but mental health awareness wasn't a thing. I think we may have spoke about this where in school there was no mental health slides or this is that it was just no and especially as boys you're always taught to musk your emotions be tough you're a man and now at least people are talking about things and it will only help the generations to come and not just in their mental health if you feel good upstairs usually everything else can perform a little bit better you're better at work or at least for me now tell everybody where can we find this amazing show uh which platforms you stream on and also where can we learn more about the each of you Yeah. um, You can find our show on Apple Podcasts, on Spotify, over on YouTube. Um, You can reach us at Anxiety Warriors Podcast on Instagram. If you want to shoot us an email, you can 
uh, send us a message at anxiety warriors podcast at gmail.com. I know um, Abby's working on getting us on to Audible and a couple nice. of those other cool um, streaming listening platforms. So pretty much anywhere that you can listen to audio media, I'm pretty sure you're going to find us there. Excellent. And now where can we find the both of you? You can find me, Margo, at comcookie underscore kids yoga. And as I said, I'm a children's yoga teacher and mindfulness teacher. I am an author and uh, have lots of fun over there with my own community. And I do lots of double sharing. So stuff you see on my feed also comes onto the Anxiety Warriors feed. And same thing for Abby. Yes, yeah. I saw that. And unfortunately, I'm not as active as I need to be on social media. It taught me a lesson that I need to be checking more often, at least for <laughs> messages. And I need to get on some double posts. How about you now, Abigail? Uh, yeah, you can also find me on Instagram. I'm Abigail underscore the mindfulness practice. Um, and you can also find me on my website, abigailwilber.com. Oh, yeah. Let me plug my website real quick, too. I forgot about that. Thanks, yes. Abby. Mm -hmm. I'm at comcookie.org. Be sure to check out both of their websites. The information will be in the show description. So scroll down. I am at Vincent A. Lancy on all social media, YouTube, and my website is vincentalancy.com. I hope you enjoyed the third bonus episode in this series with a rare afternoon interview for me. We make time <laughs> for each other for the interviews that matter. I hope you enjoyed this show. And if you're interested in improving your mental health and so much more, be sure to subscribe to their podcast, The Anxiety Warriors, to get inspired each episode. See you next week on That Entrepreneur Show.